Hey guys, Mr. McLean again. All right, we're gonna do our second GeoGebra. Oh, Ruby, Ruby, lay down, lay down. See ya. She's on lockdown because her toenails on the floor are so loud. Boy, you'd think I asked her to do that. All right, so we're gonna do a second geometry construction in GeoGebra. Uh, once again, I'm going to have you watch the video and then go off on your own and see if you can repeat it. Um, so we're going to go into the ge geometry app again. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to construct an equilateral triangle. Now this is a pretty fast construction. There's not a whole lot going on here. And you're probably going to notice some tools that I'm using are similar. Well, that's kind of the whole idea here is that we're constructing things and theoretically we're only using a straight edge, not a ruler, a straight edge and a compass like a school compass. All right, so we're going to construct an equilateral triangle using only a straight edge and a school compass. And while I'm doing that, I want you to be thinking about, okay, what is it about this sequence of steps that prove or that makes it absolutely for sure be an equilateral triangle? What's sort of the argument here? All right, so that's going to be the side of my triangle. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the compass tool. And this is going to be really pretty quick. Okay, center at A, radius to B. Drop it there. Make sure the compass tool is still activated. Same size, but I'm going to put it there. Now I'm going to go get my pointer tool so I can move it up a little bit and zoom it back. All right, so we're going to construct this point of intersection. And this is going to be our equilateral triangle. And you should start thinking now. So what is it about this thing that guarantees that it's going to be an equilateral triangle? All right, so you'll be thinking about that while I go find the intersection tool. Hey, I actually found it quickly that time. Point C. Okay, you're still thinking about it, right? I'm going to construct those segments for the side lengths. And that is an equilateral triangle. Okay, you're still thinking about it, right? I'm going to show you one other trick here, though. I want to actually hide these circles. They're called construction marks in this world, and I kind of just want to see my end result. So show hide object and then click on the object you want to hide. Show hide object and then click on the object you want to hide. I'm going to go up to the pointer tool, and now I just have my resulting construction. Okay, really quickly, we're going to measure we're going to use some measuring tools to show that this is equilateral. And then I'm going to send you off to try it on your own. Okay, so measuring tools, I keep scrolling right past them. Here it is. So distance or length, AB is currently seven centimeters. BC, AC. That was lucky that it's a whole number number. So then you can also, I should the move, the move tool. I'm going to move these so they're in a more normal position. And then what's cool about that is, is now when you move the construction around, those go with it. Okay. I'm going to leave it to you to add in the measures of the angles. What do you suppose the measure of each angle is? All right. So I'm going to end this video and send you off. Go back, back to your GeoGebra account and see if you can repeat this construction and see if you can remember how to add in the angle measures while you're at it. All right, guys, good luck. Let me know how it goes.